Though Time Lords could regenerate after severe injuries, regeneration was by no means guaranteed. Artran energy was crucial to the regenerative process, meaning Time Lords were unable to regenerate if they did not have any Artran energy in their body. Pros. The Banquo Legacy. Audio. Repeat Offender. The regenerative process could also be destroyed by acid. Pros. Night of the Humans. Or by exposures to substances, such as anesthetics meant for humans, which were toxic to the Gallifreyan body. TV. Doctor Who. Certain energy weapons could also prevent the regenerative process. In an alternate reality, a Raxacorocophalopatorian used an energy weapon that destroyed the 10th Doctor's regenerative process, preventing his regeneration into the 11th Doctor. Comic. Four Doctors. A planet of executioners possessed a machine built for executing Time Lords that could disable regeneration as part of the execution process. TV. Extremis. Martha Jones also had a gun that, when inserted with four distinct chemicals, could apparently prevent regeneration, as she reportedly planned to do to the Saxon Master. While the existence of this gun was actually a ruse created by the Tenth Doctor to distract the Master from their real plan, the fact that the Master believed it suggests that such a weapon was theoretically possible. TV. Last of the Time Lords. According to some accounts, a blast from Star Sapphire could prevent regeneration. Maxwell implied this. TV. Arc of Infinity. And Gander later explicitly noted that a Starsa pistol was one of the few weapons capable of killing a Time Lord immediately. Pros. The Shadows of Avalon. However, the Twelfth Doctor shot the Eleventh General once with the sidearm of the President's personal security, triggering the General's regeneration. TV. Hellbent. Several Time Lords died without regenerating when they were killed by a TCE. TV. The Deadly Assassin. When the Tenth Doctor tried to attach his brain to the Cal Data Core, believing he could regenerate and provide the extra memory space, River pointed out it would outright kill him by burning out both of his hearts, so she took his place. TV. Forest of the Dead. The Master's upgraded laser screwdriver could disable the regenerative process if its target received a full blast on its maximum setting. TV. The Doctor Falls. While not explicitly demonstrated, the Master at least believed that Janus Thorns could prevent regeneration, as he went to great lengths to brainwash Leela so that she would use the Thorns against the Fourth Doctor, the Doctor only surviving this experience as he was able to help Leela break the Master's programming in time for her to inject him with the antidote. Audio. The Evil One. River Song and the Silence believed that a Time Lord could die permanently if killed, again, at the right time during the regenerative process. This appeared to be verified when River, controlled by the silence, seemingly managed to kill the 11th Doctor permanently after he began to regenerate at Lake Silencio. TV. The Impossible Astronaut. Although unbeknownst to the silence, the Doctor she shot was actually a simulacrum. The T Selector. Used by the Doctor to fake his death. TV. The Wedding of River Song. And was already out of regenerations. TV. The Time of the Doctor. Indeed. The Tenth Doctor told Wilfred Mott that he could still be killed before regeneration kicked in. TV. The end of time. Certain injuries only had a chance of causing regeneration if left untreated. When the Doctor was paralyzed from the waist down after a spaceship crash, he expressed concern that he would regenerate if he passed out while being transported, but he made it back to the TARDIS without regenerating and was able to find healing nanites that could repair his back. Audio. Devil in the Mist. Some injuries were so serious that they could not be treated by regeneration. When the Time Lady Salenti was blinded, she spent 91 years uncertain if she would ever regain her sight, although a telepathic exchange with a pan-dimensional race allowed her to confirm that the neural pathways for sight in her brain were still intact and she would be able to see again once she regenerated, even if she decided that she would not regenerate just to regain her vision. Pros. The Sons of Koresh. According to some accounts, the regenerative process could only kick in when the body was still alive to some extent. As a result, final deaths could occur too quickly for the body to regenerate, as evidenced by how an alternate version of the Tenth Doctor died because he was drowned confronting the Empress of the Ranos. TV. Turn left. When facing the word Lord, the Seventh Doctor sacrificed himself to stop Nobody No One by using a tablet linked to the transgalactic net to hit Nobody with the full force of the stories collected about himself at the cost of frying his own mind, causing so much damage that he expressed a belief that this would kill him even before the word Lord tricked a unit soldier into declaring, nobody can stop the doctor from regenerating, which gave the word Lord the power to do just that. Fortunately, this sacrifice was undone when the seventh doctor's future self, 
currently present at the death of his past self after his own attempt to trap the word Lord, set up a complex plan that allowed Ace to subvert the word Lord's power to rewrite reality so that she could undo the Doctor's death, restoring him to life in his seventh body with no need for regeneration. Audio. A death in the family, however, in other accounts, regeneration could occur even after the previous incarnation's body had completely died, or indeed, been dead for some time, although this could result in some, growing pains, for the new incarnation, who might deal with such conditions as amnesia. TV. Doctor Who. Stabbing or shooting a Time Lord through both hearts at the same time would kill them. Pros. The Shadows of Avalon, World Game. Missy recommended eight snipers, with two trained on each of her hearts and three for her brainstem, so that Clara Oswald could feel safe while speaking to her, noting that they'd have to switch off fast, before she could regenerate. TV. The Magician's Apprentice. Plans to execute a Time Lord relied on technology that would destroy both hearts, sever all three brain stems, and deliver a cellular shock to prevent regeneration, after which the subject would be left in a quantum vault for no less than a thousand years to ensure that regeneration would not occur. TV. Extremis. Time Lords could also be injured beyond the point of regeneration, with copies of the Twelfth Doctor dying after contact with the veil inside his confession dial. In such cases, the doctor claimed that every cell in a Time Lord's body would continue attempting to regenerate, which could prolong their actual death for several days. In his case, this gave each copy time to use the last of their energy to trigger a teleportation device and create a new body for their essence to continue trying to escape. TV. Heaven sent. It was suggested that regeneration may not occur if the Time Lord lacked the will for it to do so. An alternate version of the Sixth Doctor was killed permanently by a Dalek, but this Doctor had been locked away in the Tower of London for decades after his legs had been amputated, and his mental state had significantly deteriorated, to the point that he may have wanted to die to escape his nightmarish existence. Audio. Jubilee. The Doctor's cousin Arq was unable to regenerate after being strangled by a whiss, but Arq was noted as being a very weak-willed Time Lord who feared how he was perceived by others. Pros. Lungbarrow. When the Eighth Doctor was infected by anti-time and asked his companion Charlie to kill him, while talking with his predecessors in his mind, he speculated that he was not regenerating because he had wanted to die out of grief and Charlie's new hatred of what he had become, requiring support from his predecessors to allow the anti-time to take him over and let Zagreus defeat Razalon. Audio. Zagreus. The Eighth Doctor was killed when the ship he was trying to escape from crash landed on Khan. He was later restored temporarily to life by the Sisterhood of Khan and provided with an elixir to trigger the regenerative process. TV. The Night of the Doctor. The Ninth Doctor showed the same level of concern as his human companions did towards falling victim to the Gelf, suggesting regenerating was not an expected outcome. TV. The Unquiet Dead. When surrounded by Daleks, the Doctor was under the belief that he would die for good, remarking that, maybe it's time. TV. The Parting of the Ways. Certain environments could also be dangerous for regeneration, with the fifth and eighth doctors going to great lengths to avoid dying in space. Pros. Imperial Moon. The taking of Planet 5. Malika believed that her regenerative processes would simply not activate in the vacuum of space, as her new incarnation would simply die all over again, rendering the process futile. Comic. Omega. The Eighth Doctor instead recalled horror stories of Time Lords regenerating in such an environment, burning themselves out as their new bodies became increasingly twisted trying to evolve into something that could cope in a vacuum. Pros. The taking of Planet 5, however, safe regeneration from exposure to a vacuum was possible if the subject was returned to an oxygenated environment before the process initiated, with one Time Lord regenerating normally after being cast adrift in space before the War Doctor materialized his TARDIS around him and left him to regenerate in the ship's zero room. Pros. Engines of War. The Fifth Doctor once noted that the important thing in regeneration was that the brain remained intact, with an early Gallifreyan being killed for good when she was shot in the brain at close range with a 26th century weapon. Pros. Cold fusion. Retrogenitor radiation was specifically created by the Daleks to inhibit regeneration. Audio. X and the Daleks. Certain types of radiation could be more dangerous to Time Lords than others. Röntgen radiation was relatively harmless so long as it was expelled quickly enough. TV. Smith and Jones and the Doctor was able to hold back his regeneration for several hours after being exposed to the radiation from the Immortality Gate. TV. The End of Time. 
however, the radiation belt around Laketia was uniquely deadly to Time Lords while safe for human exposure, audio, the brink of death, and the radiation around the blue crystals of Metabellus III caused so much damage to the Third Doctor that he required external aid to trigger his regeneration after spending ten years drifting in the TARDIS dying of exposure. TV. Planet of the Spiders. Love and War. When the Sixth Doctor was exposed to radiation on a Cyberman ship, he ran the risk of triggering a tortured sequence of regenerations where he would rapidly exhaust his remaining lives as the radiation damaged his cellular structure so that his subsequent incarnations would still suffer damage even after regeneration, as with his third incarnation dead from the Metabellus radiation, he only survived because he returned to the timeless stability of the TARDIS and was kept in form of temporal stasis until his body had recovered. Pros. Killing Ground. The fifth doctor was not sure if he would be able to regenerate after contracting Spectrox toxemia, and indeed the transition into his next incarnation occurred, not a moment too soon. TV. The Caves of Androzani. It was implied that particularly serious blood loss could prevent regeneration altogether. Ruth was able to regenerate after draining her blood and sending it to Yavin via her TARDIS. Pros. Goth Opera. But the Eighth Doctor and Romana II were both concerned that the Fourth Doctor would die for good after several vampires fed on him at once before the Eighth Doctor was able to give his past self a transfusion. Pros. The Eight Doctors, particularly traumatic damage could cause a Time Lord to suffer regenerative collapse, which would kill him immediately regardless of how many lives they had remaining. The Sixth Doctor almost suffered this fate after a confrontation with Zor requiring Captain Jack Hartness to give him medical attention and take his place for a time until the doctor had recovered. Audio. Peace of mind. Due to the Time Lord's reliance on Artron energy to power the regenerative process, an Artron inhibitor could prevent Time Lords from regenerating, as well as limit their ability to heal from damage. When Time Lord agent Cuthbert Simpson attempted to track and trap Compassion with an inhibitor, his injuries were so serious that it took him decades to recover even after the field preventing him from regenerating was deactivated. Pros. The Banquo Legacy. When the Doctor's TARDIS was damaged by a vitreous time storm, the subsequent effects on the Doctor due to his link to the ship nearly killed both of them until a past Doctor was able to donate the energy needed for the ship to heal itself. Audio. Mary's Story. By the Last Great Time War. The Varga plants evolved so that they possessed regeneration inhibitors which could kill a Time Lord instantly. Audio. Legion of the Lost. Dalek weapons also incorporated regeneration inhibitors, with the result that Daleks could kill Time Lords instantly, even if the High Council maintained the propaganda that regeneration would still be an option if Time Lords fell in battle. Audio. The Conscript. In the early days of regeneration, the process was so disruptive to a Time Lord's DNA that regenerations were known to incorporate aspects of what the Time Lords had recently eaten before regenerating. While this defect had been corrected by the Doctor's era, the old Gallifreyan priest I. M. Foreman still had this defect in his system, resulting in his 13 incarnations representing a wide range of genetic anomalies as he pushed his biodata envelope as far as it could go culminating in his final incarnation, evolving, to become the vibrant new biosphere for an entire planet. Pros. Interference. Book 2. Ideally, regeneration would be undergone within a low-grade telepathic field. The presence of another Time Lord was recommended to assist with any difficulties, and the newly regenerated Time Lord best remained in a state of total tranquility for a time afterwards to allow the mind and body to properly readjust. Pros. Cold Fusion. 